Abstraction is the process of reducing the complexity of an idea or a concept by filtering out unnecessary information. For example, these shapes are all different colours and sizes, but we can abstractly describe them as triangles. We use abstraction in our everyday lives. For example, when someone asks us what we did on the weekend, we don't describe every little thing that we did. Instead, we generally refer to some key information, such as an event or an activity. We also use abstraction to refer to processes or activities, such as I'm baking a cake, instead of describing every step. There are different types of abstraction that computer scientists use. Some include procedural abstraction, data abstraction, and abstraction by specification. Procedural abstraction involves describing an instruction that has a specific or limited function. For example, please turn the volume down. We don't need to describe every single step involved in the process, but simply asking, can you please turn the volume down, provides the person with the information that they need to understand what we mean. Data abstraction involves ignoring irrelevant data and drawing on the most important data to solve problems. An example of this is when you visit the doctor's office. They'll often ignore irrelevant information such as eye colour or hair colour, but focus on information related to your health, such as blood pressure measurements and descriptive symptoms. Our last example, abstraction by specification, involves abstractly describing what a procedure does or what something can do without describing every little detail. For example, you might say this code keeps track of the score or this app allows you to track your fitness. The process of abstraction allows us to see patterns where problem solving processes can be used in different situations. When we identify patterns through abstraction, we can generalise processes and apply these to solve problems that are similar in nature. An example of this, familiar to the primary classroom, is that narratives share characteristics and generally follow a similar structure. Knowing this means that we can follow similar narrative structures to construct new stories with different meanings. In digital technologies, Students could use abstraction and generalisation to recognise that the same block of code can be reused for another situation. For example, visual programming code for keeping track of the score in one game could be used again in a completely different game. Abstraction is an important aspect for developing algorithms and solutions in digital technologies. We'll explore this idea of abstraction and generalisation more in later lessons.